The Mission Impossible franchise has a special place in my heart. It's the rarest thing in Hollywood. A franchise that has been running, no pun intended, for decades, and one that has continually improved since the third movie was released almost 20 years ago. Actually, the very first movie I reviewed on this channel was Mission Impossible number one. It wasn't a very good video. I hadn't quite gotten the hang of this um, editing thing yet. Anyway, back to Dead Reckoning Part 1. This video is going to be plot spoiler free, and I'm planning on posting the review with spoilers on Sunday. I guess you could say that this video should have been titled Dead Reckoning Part 1 Review Part 1, but I figured that would just be confusing. Let's get into it. While I do not think that Dead Reckoning Part 1 is as great as Fallout, Part 1 is still a pretty good movie, if not great. I try to be careful when judging Part 1s, because, you know, there's another half of the movie to go. So, Part 2 of Dead Reckoning might bump up the film, but for now that isn't the case. That being said, Dead Reckoning Part 1 is still for the most part a breath of fresh air. The action is rock solid, with the final set piece being intense in a way most movies today must certainly not. Tom Cruise runs in this movie, and he also turns in a reliably good performance as Ethan Hunt. The rest of the cast generally turns in good performances as well, although I would say that Palm Clementif seems to be a little confused about how her character should act, and Isai Morales' antagonist is not the best villain we have had in the Impossible franchise, for reasons I will get into in a different video. For the most part, the pacing of the movie is excellent. This is a long movie, and what is more, the plot beats here tend to move at full speed. Thankfully, there are a few quiet moments here and there, otherwise it would have become almost an arduous experience. And, as has been reported elsewhere, you do begin to feel the time in the last 20 minutes. The movie certainly does not bore, but you do tend to become aware of how long things have gone on. It almost feels like this movie was trying to be Avengers Infinity War, but you did not feel the time in Infinity War. Also, I must say that the script is definitely the weakest part of the movie. While director Christopher McQuarrie can in fact write, he seems to have lost his edge a bit. Either that, or things were adjusted mid-shooting to change things up. I did very much get that sense from how some characters were treated, but I will get into that in the spoiler video, so subscribe to make sure you catch that. Still, all in all, The Reckoning Part 1 was a highly enjoyable experience. While it never reached the highs of Fallout or Top Gun Maverick, it is still a good, entertaining film that deserves to be seen in theaters. Will it make a billion dollars? I don't know, but I wouldn't be surprised. Thanks for watching, and I will be back soon.